Today we're in Bournemouth at this beautiful home which is about two or three hundred meters from the beach over there and we have just finished putting in the cupboards on this outdoor kitchen so today I'm going to be showing you all of the features of this and the process that we use to make this kitchen. Uh, there's a couple of firsts for us on this one so if that's something that you'd like to see stick around and we'll jump into this video. So there are a few different things on this kitchen that we've never done before um, and the process and the materials that we use to build it. What I will do is at the end of this video I'll put up lots of pictures and sequence so you can see the whole process and, and the techniques that we used. So firstly the first different thing about this that we used is we made this out of a timber frame. So one of the advantages of timber frame is that it's very clean and it's very quick to put up. It works out probably a little bit cheaper than using blocks and bricks, but the, the main advantage I would say is just the clean up. There's, there's no mess, it's just a bit of sawdust. So we created, if you like, just timber ladders all the way around and we then put marine ply onto those, those timber frames. And what that does, if you imagine a timber frame, like a ladder, it can move like that. When you put ply on it, it strengthens it up and that keeps it solid. So you've got a timber frame all the way around. Then it's got ply on it. We then used a breathable waterproof membrane. And we then used, and this is something that we've never used before as well, this Marley, it's a cedral cladding, which is a cement board. So this is perfect for here, where we're so close to the sea like a cement board is really really it's, it lasts i think it's got a 25 year guarantee something like that it comes in a range of different colors it has these um, corner profiles and edging trims that you can use so around the barbecue as well on the inside of the barbecue in that enclosed area we put a cement board all the way around there as well to protect the timber frame from the heat of the barbecue so that's something to bear in mind as well everything else is okay because there's no heat but just where that barbecue is um, cement board inside there to stop any anything encroaching on the on the timber frame so another first for us, which was really exciting, was these worktops. So the customer decided they didn't want granite, they didn't want Decton, they wanted to go for a, a polished concrete worktop. So we did some research into it and I got in contact with a company called Concrete Labs UK and they supplied us with all of the bits that we needed to do it. Um, and so we built this off-site in our warehouse. Um, we made uh, the forms using uh, primed moisture resistant MDF we poured the concrete in there and then polished it and then brought them out onto site and and installed them and they came out really really nicely we're so pleased with the way that it's come out obviously you've got a cut out there for the sink um, but other than that and you've got a cut out for the barbecue over there other than that it was pretty straightforward two just straight pieces of worktop um, and we couldn't be happy with it it's really really good so just to show you um, some of the bits that we've got in this kitchen then. So over here, obviously, we've got uh, the sink, um, which is like essential for washing your hands. When you're barbecuing, you're always going to get stuff on your hands. So sink's fantastic to, to keep your hands clean. Underneath here, we've just got a uh, stainless steel cupboard. And that obviously gives you access to, um, to your waste and your, your water. Here, we've got a beef eater stainless steel single fridge, ideal for keeping drinks and food in, keeping those cool. Over here we've got a beef eater stainless steel double drawer, so that you can just you can keep whatever you want in there. Um, utensils, plates, glasses, whatever. Uh, here we've just got another single cupboard which is purely just for access, so you can just keep whatever you want inside there. Um, and then underneath here we've got the double doors, stainless steel, and that's purely just to keep the gas in there for the bar. So this barbecue you may recognize, we've done a few of these. This is Napoleon Prestige Pro 665. Um, I have done a review of this. Um, if you want to see that, I'll leave the link up here so you can click on that and have a look at the barbecue. A really incredible piece of kit, really, really good. Definitely recommend having one of those if you're thinking of having an outdoor kitchen. So I hope you've enjoyed that video and the tour on this kitchen. Um, I, we definitely had a lot of fun making it. 
Um, if you did like the video, please like it. And if you want to see more like this, subscribe to the channel. We do have uh, an Instagram and a Facebook account. Um, I will leave the links to those and to our website in the description below. Um, if you have any questions on any outdoor kitchens or any of the items that you've seen in any of our videos, either you know put a comment on this or give us a ring or just send us an email and we'll do everything that we can to help you. So see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.